Deep in the heart of a quiet suburban neighborhood, the ominous silhouette of Grayson Manor loomed. Its towering building casting a shadow over the surrounding houses. Its history was a tapestry woven from threads of darkness. A chronicle of sadness and despair whispered through its halls like a ghostly melody. Families came and went, each living a legacy tainted by misfortune. But none could match the horror awaiting the last occupants. The Smith family, oblivious to the house's dark past, have arrived hoping to start over. Among their belongings was a forgotten relic, a dusty old doll found deep in the attic. Once gentle and innocent, her porcelain features now seem to bear the weight of an invisible malice. While unpacking, Mrs. Smith discovered the doll, and, despite her uneasy feeling, decided to display it in the living room. Little did she know of the dormant darkness within its lifeless form. That first night in their new home, as the moon illuminated the estate with its silvery light, an eerie silence reigned in the house. The air seemed thick with anticipation, and uneasiness permeated the atmosphere. Unbeknownst to the Smiths, the doll awoke from its sleep, its glass eyes sparkling with an ominous light. As the clock struck midnight, there was a quiet creaking sound in the darkness, followed by the sound of tiny footsteps on the wooden floor. Mrs. Smith, awakened by an inexplicable sense of fear, opened her eyes and saw the doll standing at the foot of her bed. Its gaze fixed on her with such intensity that a shiver ran down her spine. Who... who is there? She whispered, her voice trembling with fear. The doll was silent, its unblinking eyes boring into hers with frightening intensity. And then, with a sudden movement, it lunged forward, its tiny hands wrapping an iron grip around her throat. Mrs. Smith gasped, her heart pounding as she struggled against the doll's grip, but it was no use. With one last desperate cry, she succumbed to the darkness. Her lifeless body collapsing to the floor, while the doll watched with a crooked grin on her porcelain lips. The following day, the Smith family awoke to find Mrs. Smith's lifeless body lying on the bedroom floor. With the doll standing over her like a silent guardian. Shock and disbelief gripped the household as they faced the horrific reality of what had happened. Neighbors whispered about a cursed doll that haunted Grayson Manor, warning the new residents to flee before it was too late. But the Smith family, trapped in their disbelief, chose to stay, unaware of the horrors that awaited them. Days turned into weeks, and the doll's terror continued with the same force. Every night it walked the halls of Grayson Manor, its ominous presence striking fear into the hearts of all who lived within its walls. No one was safe from its evil gaze, Weeks turned into months, and the once idyllic life of the Smith family turned into chaos and despair. They lived in constant fear, their every waking moment haunted by the ghost of an evil doll lurking in the shadows. Amid the unrest at Grayson Manor, strange incidents began to occur. Objects moved independently, Strange sounds echoed through the corridors at night. And a pervasive sense of fear hung heavy in the air. It was as if the very walls of the house were full of evil energy, feeding on the fear and suffering of its inhabitants. As months turned into years, the legend of the evil doll persisted drawing both the curious and the brave to Grayson Manor, 
in search of answers. Among those drawn to the house was Dr. Emily Bennett, a renowned paranormal investigator with a reputation for solving supernatural mysteries. Intrigued by tales of a living doll, Dr. Bennett sets out on a journey to uncover the truth about the ghosts of Grayson Manor. Armed with an array of equipment and a steely determination, she ventured into the depths of the mansion, determined to unravel the secrets hidden within its walls. Delving deeper into the house's dark history, Dr. Bennett discovered a tangled web of tragedy and despair stretching back centuries. It was a story of loss and suffering, a testament to the enduring power of the supernatural forces that lurked within Grace and Manor. Through her investigations, Dr. Bennett pieced together the mystery of the evil doll, tracing its origins to a long-forgotten tragedy that befell the Grayson family generations ago. It was said that the doll was created by a vengeful spirit, seeking retribution for the injustices done to it. Determined to end the doll's reign of terror, Dr. Bennett devised a daring plan to exorcise the evil spirit once and for all. She performed ancient rituals to banish the evil hidden inside the doll. A sudden chill swept through the room as the rituals climaxed, and the air crackled with energy. The evil spirit was driven out of the doll with a protective roar. With the curse lifted, Grayson Manor was once again silent. Its halls free of the taint of evil that had haunted it for so long. As for the doll, it lay broken on the floor. Its once terrifying appearance turned into shards of porcelain. Years passed, but the legend of the evil doll remained, attracting both the curious and the foolish to Grayson Manor. Some came searching for answers, while others sought to get rid of the world of the cursed doll once and for all. But amid the rumors of the past and the echoes of tragedy, one thing remained certain. Grace and Manor would forever remain shrouded in mystery, and its secrets would only be known to those who dared to reveal them. As for the evil doll's legacy, it will live on in the annals of history. A chilling reminder of the horrors that lurk in the darkness.